Our colleague Mark Ogden Jules reporting yes. that um, Real Madrid might not just yeah. sign Mbappe in the summer, which they no haven't way. signed him yet, but no. of course, yeah. um, strong, strongly linked. Who else? Some guy named Erling Braut Holland as well. No way. Wow. The Galacticos are back. Is that, is that what Florentino is trying to do? It would seem that way. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, you talk about money because you have to, but, you know, Mbappe obviously would be a free transfer. Free transfer. Holland would be release 70 clause. release clause, which we think is around 70 million. Yeah. Then, of course, plus the commission for Mino and the commission for Mbappe's dad. But they're going to have a much lower wage bill because I was actually just working this out between Bale leaving, between who's, who's out of contract, yeah. between um, Marcelo leaving, who's out of contract, yeah. uh, Isco. Isco leaving, who's out of contract. Modric is out of contract too, although I, I, I would, wouldn't be surprised if Modric no. ends up staying. You're clearing up quite a lot in, in wages. Um, but you know how much, you know how much Kian would cost you in terms of wages, yeah? Give me a number. We are around the 30 million a year. Okay, that's something, that's less than Bale. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then you, then you take the remainder of Bale's wages. and You, you would think that Haaland would get paid as much as Mbappe, right? And Mino, Mino too. You could take care of Mino as well. I just think, listen, I, I, I've got no doubt that financially they would be able to do the two deals because the, it's the right time. The timing is right, right with Mbappe being out of contract, with Haaland having that release clause. Otherwise, Haaland would cost you 200 plus million. So this is certainly the right time to go for, for it and, and sign two. Not really sure what happens with Karim Benzema in, in, and Vinicius Jr. If you sign Haaland and Mbappe, and then you have a lot of players attacking wise. But obviously, Karim has just turned 34, so he's getting closer to the end and to the beginning, no problem. Um, but yeah, I mean, go for it, of course. If you can sign both, the, the, the next Play four, two four, big two. things. Play 4-4-2. Four, four, there you go. You yeah. Got. You've got Casemiro. It's very but, exciting. Yeah. And I've got no doubt that they can do both. And I'm sure what well, Kylian, we know, is his dream. And we can, although nothing is done and signed, we can say that, you know, it's looking good. And then Haaland, if Haaland doesn't want to move to England first, for example, and would rather go Real Madrid five years or maybe even more or whatever, and then maybe come to England, I would want to think that Haaland at some point wants to play in England, right? Would you agree? I would want to think that at some point he wants to play for Real Madrid. Yeah, because everybody. No, I'm just kidding. No, um, no, no. But I think I think that's probably true too. I so I'm just thinking about this because right? we we've all remarked upon how like with so many players out of contract this summer, Real Madrid are in a very good position because to, to yeah. use a uh, a U.S. sports term, they'll have a lot of money under the cap. They um, have. Indeed. And you can go for these free agents. But what I'm curious to know, obviously, they've been strongly linked with with Rudiger. Yeah. If you commit all this money to Mbappe and Holland. Do you do you also then definitely need Rudiger as well, or can you go Alaba, Militao, Nacho? I squeeze another year out of this. I think you need another centre back for sure. And you would go for a veteran, ideally, yeah, like ideally. Rudiger. No transfer or, fee to pay. Or Ginter. Or Ginter, yeah. Uh, I don't know. They also want a midfielder, and we're linked with Gravenberch and Pogba and all of that. I just don't think you can do everything. It's either maybe you do Killian and 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 Hurling, and then that's it. If you want to strengthen more positions, then you might have to choose between Mbappe and Haaland. And I think they would choose Mbappe. Yeah. If I, they can send just one of the two, you think they go for Mbappe, yeah? Oh, no question. Also, because it's just, it's just cheaper. There's no Mino yeah, involved. Advanced, and, yeah. you know, I mean, I think in the end, we said, we said the transfer is 70 million. I would assume the commission for Mino, especially if the new transfer regulations, you know, they, don't, they won't have kicked yeah, in. Yeah. Between Mino and his dad and Holland's dad, I think you're looking at another 30 to 40 Easy. million on top of that. Yeah. Easily, yeah. right? Yeah. Completely. So then you're talking about 110 million. Yeah. Now, Holland might be worth a lot more than that, so you still do the deal. If yeah, you yeah, do yeah. It. it's still a good deal. Um, Modric is also out of contract. I, I think given the way he's played, given 100%. that he's happy, you extend Modric. Of course you do. Just Give to him have another him year. I think he'd take another year. He's 36 years old. So that being the situation, I don't know. I, I, I wonder because... I think you can go a season where you tell Kareem, hey, listen, Kareem, we have four great strikers. We've got three people. I mean, Kareem might have to go back to playing wide, which I think he did very, very, very early in his career. Yeah, yeah, on, really, a with France. long time ago. But you've got four guys with three positions, maybe, and you rotate. So it's a long season. Yeah. You can, you can, you can rotate those four, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Of course you can. Um, 
And that's not a problem. And you would accept that for one year. Maybe it makes it easier to settle in. So that part's okay. Uh, midfield, do they definitely need a Gravenberch or a Pogba in there? Or do you say, it's oh, look. It's just to prepare the post Modric era, right? Yeah, but I got the right left with Camavinga and Valverde. Valverde doesn't keep catching COVID. And but surely the, the, the future of Real Madrid midfield is Camavinga, Valverde, and the third one, whether and that's Pogba and Gravenberch. I mean, Gravenberch is still very young. Yeah. Uh, like Kamavinga, like Kamavinga, so also a Mino client, so then maybe yeah. you get a package deal there. Yeah, package deal, yeah. And then Good you, get a, a, you get a defender, and right? then, yeah, and yeah. then you hope Dani Carvajal stays fit because that that that, that would oh, at that man. point that would be the only question mark left in the squad, right? That would be probably much so. It looks it looks impressive. Watch this space. Don't think it's going to be easy. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.